We're delighted to have you here. This forum is for you. This forum is for you amongst yourselves, the team working with government, our government, together. And today we want you, today and tomorrow, to get the world to know that Zambia is on the move. The very first time since our independence in 1964 that uh, Zambia and the EU are meeting in this manner, in this way. This is important. <laughs> what it means to our people, jobs, business opportunities in the supply chain. We know what it means to the Treasury. We know what it means for the sick, the weak, the orphaned, and the old. Because only if we succeed in the economic side, on the economic side of the equation, trade investment, can we support the vulnerable in our society. I'm an agent of the people of Zambia to make their lives better. <laughs> Zambia has attracted several EU companies with an estimated investment of 1.6 billion euros in energy, environmental services, construction engineering services, fresh agro-processing, let's call it agriculture, broadly, among others. But honestly speaking, 1.6 billion euros Europe is a giant, not in geographic size, but in economic terms. I am not convinced that $1.6 billion is something to be proud of. We should work and target to triple this figure, at minimum 5 billion euros. I do watch the board language when we're in cabinet and we're talking about improving business environment. Sometimes people equate it to mean anti-Zambia or pro-Europe. No? No? It's pro-business. It's pro-jobs. It's pro-poor. So we can look after the sick, the weak. That's the way it works. In line with our commitment to create jobs for our people, to create business opportunities. And we do believe that as you invest more, you'll be recognizing the importance of employing citizens of Zambia in your businesses. I know the pain that it used to take to do a small project in this country. Waiting, meeting after meeting. You fly in colleagues to come to close the transaction, no, the minister has gone to a funeral. Can you come back next week? People have dropped what they had to do. And the investor is coming from Mwinilunga. He's looking for pineapple partners here. He comes. No, no, the permanent secretary has a wedding. And you cancel a meeting because you have a wedding. Hey, go to your wedding. Leave the work to continue with someone else in the office. Government is big. That is our new way of working going forward. <laughs> what will matter most at the end of this forum, we want to see transactions. We want to see projects. We want to see a decision made by someone here, even if it means phoning their headquarters that they are going to increase their investment in their existing business or start a new project in this country. The message is that these transactions that should come out of this forum should lead to some of you making drastic but good decisions, positive decisions to invest more in agriculture.
in Zambia so we can alleviate the food shortages. Let's work together, colleagues, and I ask my cabinet again, attending a workshop, a forum like this, is an indictment on us to expedite everything we do in our offices to facilitate conclusion of transactions. This EU Zambia Economic Forum is now officially open, and I thank you for your kind attention.